Think about like late night TV. Mm -hmm. um, Jimmy Kimmel recently hinted that he would retire. I know you did um, Vibe. You were a late night host. How do you get into your character? I know a lot of people, you know, method act or they kind of they'll, they'll lock themselves in a room and, and become this guy. What do you do to, to, to bring yourself to become these people? Well, a lot of times I just uh, sit around and make up a lot of stuff about them. You know, acting is make believe. And uh, it's fun, you know. And then I'll go out and I'll talk to my hairdresser and the wig maker and say, oh, well, <laughs> make me a wig that looks like this. Because Mitch's hair was a wig. Uh, the hair in Great White Hype was a wig. The Jerry Curl, I hope that was a wig. The Jerry Curl Pulp was fiction. a wig. Yeah. <laughs> what was cool is you kept it real with the Jerry. I mean, you had it dripping. You know, you shook a couple times and blinded the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> that was dope. Yeah. When you think about black comedians of the day, is there one in particular you think could um, maybe step into the forefront? Me. Uh, I'm, I, I, was, I was on my way to being fantastic, and then they pulled the rug. The thing about being a late night talk show host is that you have to get to a point where you say, fuck you to everybody. We're going to do what I say. I've been doing comedy X amount of years. I know how to make the audience laugh. We have hired the right people to protect me. That's a segment producer. He's gonna do whatever it takes to get the right interviews. That person's the band leader. That's the fucking director. Do everything to make sure, everything you think I'm weak at, just protect me. I can handle the funny. I will learn how to be a better interviewer. Uh, one of the main problems I had was, it's hard to read your jokes in a prompter. So I was having somebody write, you have to read a monologue, you know what I mean? So. When I do get another show, that will be one thing I'll make sure I don't do. George Lopez was great at is making it, making the monologue his own, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna make sure when I go back on uh, that I will make the monologue my own. Arsenio was great. See, there's a difference. I'm sorry. Arsenio was a joke teller, mm -hmm. so he was great at reading jokes and making them personal. Leno's great at that. Letterman. I'm more of a storyteller. So when you don't tell jokes, joke, joke. Did you hear this? Did you hear this? It's kind of awkward. You have to get comfortable doing that. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm back on, uh, you'll see.